What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing on this Saturday morning? Saturday morning vlogs are back. I wish this was a little different, but it's going to be what it's going to be. First off, I want to send my thoughts and prayers out to the people of Ukraine. Um, man. I, you know, when the news story started popping and everything, I started getting online and seeing the things online. Whew. It's not a good situation, guys. It's not a good situation. I really wish somebody else, I really wished we had their back better. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get into the political ramifications of everything that's going on. I don't want to get political on this channel. I hate, ugh, I hate politics. Um... I'm just not a big fan of it. But there are innocent people stuck in this. There are innocent children. There are innocent wives. There are innocent husbands stuck in this. But one of the things I have seen, and this is a true leader, that when the leader of the country is willing to pick up in arms and fight for his own country, that's a hell of a leader. That's a hell of a leader right there. And I don't care which side you're on on this. War's bad. War's bad. And it's never good for anybody. Not good for the soldiers that have to fight in it. It's not good for the people that are caught in it. It's not good for the people that have to, you know, rebuild after it's over with. And it's always one country's land is getting destroyed while another country is sitting there high and dry and no problems. It's one of the downsides to war is in the, not to mention the human casualties and the the suffering that happens from it. The, the what the soldiers have to live with after it's over with. I bet if you asked every one of them, a good chunk of them would tell you they didn't want to be there. They're following orders. That's the way it works. That's that's the way it happens. That's the way it all goes down. And one side or the other has to believe in what they're fighting for. It's like, what are you fighting for? This side could be fighting for control of the land. This side could be fighting for their people and their land. I think one of the reasons why you've never seen true hand-to-hand -hand combat in this country from a foreign soil is because they know true Americans will stand up and they will fight for their country whether it's the military or me or you or whoever. I don't want to get going on a tirade um, about this. I just want everybody to stop, pray for the people in Ukraine, pray for the soldiers that are having to fight Pray for the women and children that are defenseless, especially the children that are defenseless, and there's many defenseless children. If you haven't seen the video of the mom and little girl standing in their window watching a Russian plane shoot a missile where they live, and that hasn't affected you somehow or another, I don't know what to say. To me, it, it broke my heart to hear the little girl scream. Bloody murder that a missile just hit where she lives. Like I said, guys, I don't like doing these kind of videos. But this is on my mind right now. And I've got a platform to talk about it on. And I'm going to talk about it. And you can leave your comments down below. Hope to God I'm not, you know... If you're okay with the video, let me know too. If you're not okay with it, let me know too. But uh, I can't go silent on this. Um, all I ask you to do is, um, well, so okay, something else I gotta say though. Something else I gotta say. This goes back to my prepping and my being prepared. My famous saying at the end of videos. My son told a friend of his here too, not too long ago, like this week. His friend said, Chase, don't you feel kind of weird buying so much ammunition or buying ammunition every week? 
Jay said, no. Look what Ukraine's having to do right now. It's very true. You could be in Ukraine right now and your government ask you to help fight. So think about that a little bit. That's a hell of a note. That's a hell of a thing. But they know they're outnumbered. They know they're outgunned. Because Lord knows Russia's a huge power. They're holding their own right now. They're holding their own. And if you haven't heard the story about the um, soldiers on the island, go check that out. My hat's off to them guys. They basically tow a warship. 13 soldiers tow a warship to go, you know what, themselves. That's, that, that's what you call a patriot. That's what you call a true soldier. That's what you call true human. You want me to lay down my arms and go defenseless against my country? Nope, not going to happen. And I would say every American, good red-blooded American would say the same thing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop. Guys, be prepared. See you on the next one. Please pray for all the people that's in harm's way right now.